One of the key feature of a parliamentary form of government is that the executive is responsible to the legislature. Since the ministers who form the government or the executive are responsible to the legislature, it becomes the duty of the legislature to hold the ministers accountable for their act. To make sure that MPs and MLAs discharge their duty with utmost honesty and transparency, it is imperative that they do not receive any kind of financial gain, advantage or benefit from the government, which may unduly influence the legislature from discharging its duty. That is why Article 102 and 191 provides for disqualification in case a legislature hold office of profit under the government which provide them with such benefits. At the same time, the article also clarifies that a person shall not be deemed to hold an office of profit only by the reason that he is a minister. This is because in a parliamentary form of government, the executive is also the member of the legislature. Now, what constitutes an office of profit has not been clearly defined in law. Supreme Court has ruled that for determining whether a person holds an office of profit or not, certain factors can be taken into consideration, such as if the government is making the appointment or the government has the power to terminate the appointment or the government is deciding the remuneration.